Hey guys, this is Scott 5 here. Today I have a waterproof case by Aki. This is meant to allow you to say go boating, snorkeling, and even swimming with your devices. And you can of course not only put your phone, but also put other things, say your cash, credit cards, whatever you want to bring on a boating event just to protect it from getting wet when you're out on these water activities. This case features two clear windows, a small one for the rear camera and a larger one for the touchscreen of your device, which is compatible to be used underwater, but more on that in my later test in this video. It also comes with an R-band strap, so you can technically wear this out running as if it were a sports band. And it has this tiny little compass up here, but it really isn't accurate, so it's really just for show. So this bag costs around $10 on Amazon. As usual, I'll put the link in the description or something comparable so you guys can check it out. But are you going to risk putting your $100 plus dollars device in this $10 bag? Well, that's what this video is for, and I did several tests of my own. So first, I started out just putting a simple piece of tissue in here, sealing it properly with these two rotating tabs, as you can see here. Just make sure it's properly closed. And then I submerged it in a sink full of water, for a couple of minutes and then I took it out and I saw that it was perfectly dry. So that gave me a little bit more confidence to put in my old iPod touch here with a camera. So I placed that in after of course thoroughly drying this whole thing out, making sure you no know additional water could possibly seep in through. And then I also placed some paper towels at the sealant part just to make sure that, that any water that could possibly leak through would first be soaked up by the paper towel. So once again, I submerged it in a sink full of water for a couple of minutes. And you can see here, I also tried recording some stuff. It's a terrible footage, as you can see. But just to see if the camera could function properly and the, the whole device was still working properly underwater. And it was. So my final test was using this in the swimming pool. So I took it with me swimming, made sure I sealed it properly as usual, and then I dunked it into the water and swam with it a little bit. Again, I'm using one of my action cameras to film this underwater. And as you can see here, I again tried to start filming, taking pictures underwater. I had really mixed results. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. Most of the time it didn't, I would say. So if you wanted to say, uh, take video underwater, you probably want to start recording above water and then just let it continue recording underwater and then taking pictures underwater it's not exactly the best i think if you could get it to remove as much air as possible in the bag prior to sealing it then you could probably get better results now talking briefly about the strap and the possibility of using this as a sports armband for maybe running. As you can see, I also have a dedicated sports armband here, also made by Aki. You can see the size difference here. The waterproof bag, of course, to take into account the sealing mechanism, adds a good inch or so. At the top here, it's also a little bit wider. And the suede that the strap is designed on the waterproof case is kind of just slipped through this plastic part here in the back. It's not very seamless, it's not very ergonomic, as with a dedicated armband, as you can see here. So the result is that it's just not very ergonomic. I personally wouldn't use this as a dedicated sports armband. It's nice that they include the strap as an additional possibility to use this case, but I wouldn't use this as a replacement of my sports armband. So as you can see, I used my iPod Touch 4G, which was a 3.5 inch screen and it's really thin. So it had a lot of wiggle room in the case, even though I put in a whole paper towel in it. If you have a bigger phone, I think it still has ample space for it. Here I'm trying out with my iPhone SE, which is a four inch screen, a little bit thicker with the case on. So it fits much more snugly. I don't think it'll fit maybe the bigger phones like six inch phones but i think it can fit up to at least a five inch phone so do i think that this is worth picking up especially when the company assumes no liability for any water damage electronics as a result of this case well i think as long as you test it before you take it out to any water related activity i think you should be fine especially if you set it up the way i do with placing a paper tower near the ceiling in case any moisture were to accidentally leak through then i think it's fine 
But I think this mainly is good for people who are going out to, say, a boating event and they want to use their phone to take pictures on the fly and they want to carry their wallet on them, make sure it doesn't get wet, something like that. And if you were to, say, flip over in your kayak, the stuff would still be floating on the surface because this thing is quite buoyant. So it's good for those kind of cases. I would say if you want to be those who like to constantly take footage on the water, I think you're better off investing in, say, a cheap $30, $40, $50 action camera to do dedicated footage just for that thank you for watching this video if you found it helpful please give it a like it'd be greatly appreciated and make sure to subscribe to my channel skyfirst95 if you haven't already to get more content like this or if you're watching this on amazon head over to my channel url right here or just search it up on youtube skyfirst95 there you'll see a bunch of my product reviews and unboxings feel free to browse or if you want to search for something specific just hit that search field that'll do it for this video this is skyfirst95 thanks for watching